<laughs> that sounds like an F1 car. Yo, chill. Shut up. <laughs> Hey everyone, Brobent here, and welcome back to Valheim. So today, like I said last episode, we're going to go and make um, a more advanced and better Sirtling farm. Uh, the one that I have is... it's fine, it works, it looks pretty, um, but right now I need function. I need a lot more coal. I have literally a stack and a half. A stack. So today we're going to be doing something that a viewer actually suggested when I first made the farm, which was a seriously cool idea. If I can find the comment, I'll have it on screen right now, but it was so long ago. Um, so, we're going to be making a lot of portals today. Uh, luckily enough, I do have good supply. The idea is, down here, I've marked out where all of the spawners are. And basically, we're going to make a room on each and every one. I was originally going to make a double spawner where I would AFK in between, but that is not the best thing to do. We're going to make a room for every single, well, not every single, maybe like, maybe, maybe 10. 10 would be a stretch. Um, 10 different of the, uh, the spawners. And then we're going to have a portal in and a portal out. And we're basically going to chain each room together. So you go in this one out into this one, out into the next one, out into the next one, via portals. Seriously cool idea. So whenever you want to just go and trigger the spawners to get coal, hold W and walk through all the portals, and then when you're at the end, you're done. Actually, you can press Q. Q is an auto walk button. You can go AFK while it's doing it. It's that easy. Um, so, let's go and do that. Um, so, I already have a portal down there at Sirtling. Um, I'm not sure where. Yeah, it's here, so looks like I need another portal down here. I have a planes there, so cool. Uh, let's get some stuff for portals and start to set that up. It actually sounds like I'm next to a racetrack. <laughs> oh, I don't know about this. Um, it's a really cool idea, and I'm happy I built it in survival, um, but what do you think? Do I demolish it, or do I just decommission it for now? It's just so loud. There we go, that is my, my dream food setup right there. I can make all of that from home, super easy. It's not the best, I'm fully aware of that. Um, so, let's get some fine wood. Uh, how much is it? I think it's 20 fine wood for a bottle. So let's start with making five. So we'll make 100 fine wood. That is everything I need for five portals. So now I just need to take a little bit of wood, and we should be good to go and start making the portals for this thing. Is this it? Am I here? Yes, nice. Right, okay, so I think oh, the first ones I want to do is up north. The way I'm going to manage it is going from north to south. Otherwise, I'm going to get a bit confused on which one's which. Although, technically, it doesn't even matter. Because I'm just going to have a sign saying which one's which inside. There's a crypt there. Either way, to keep it simple, we will start from the north. Hey, you. I want to try out my new weapon. It's not upgraded, though. It is upgraded. Oh, ho, ho. Hey. Damn! Two hit kill on a fueling? Here I am going in without anti-poison again. This is bad. <laughs> Hello you! How are you doing? Yep, 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 swing. Attack. Right, so let's disable this one. Um, I need to bring a stone cutter down here, which will require the boat later on. But just for now, I'm gonna dig it out, so if they do spawn, I can just place a workbench here. Let's do that. That's so much easier right now. <laughs> Oh, those Sirtlings are coming over as well. This is where I was going to build the double, actually, which is uh, interesting. So, Sirtling 1. That's what this place is going to be called. I'm tempted to skip this one because the uh, the room is kind of cramped. What do I do? What do I do? Skip it? I think so, too. No. No. We're not going to leave a spawner behind. That's right, Sirtling 2. And on to the next one. Wait. No, no, no. Oh. I've got to place portals, two portals for each. I uh, messed up a little bit. So, um, for now we'll leave it as is. One portal for each, and then when we go to chain them all together, we'll add another portal in. Oh my god! Basically insta-kill on Draugr's. Oh my god, this thing's lethal. Come here. One hit or one star? Easy. Oh, you're a two star. Hey! Purple. See if I can one hit you. I want to know. <laughs> so that one's got one. That one's got one. These two now have one. Uh, so let's go. Let's go up to the top here and do these two. It's getting really dark. Whoa. Odin, how you doing, buddy? 
You blended in really well in the swamp. Right, and this is now Sirtling 5. I'm actually going to leave this blank so I can get back, because obviously, me being me, I forgot to change the portal at the base. Um, so I think we're good to go. Let's go back to the base um, and bring the boat down past the uh, Sirtling farm here. We'll get the stone cutter on the way and then come down here and start to set this up. Oh, hey, we had some spawns. No locks, but some black metal. Not bad, not bad. Come on, I just... I need some locks, really badly. Oh, wow. Look at the island base from here. Um, that's interesting. My island's getting thanos Alright, can I kick this around in here? That's the question. Oh, I want to park it close, but also not too close. That was honestly perfect. Quite beautiful. <laughs> nice. Uh, right, let's get this little poison boy out of here. Oh, it's chilling. It's cool. Okay, so now we can place down the stone cutter and we can use this one to build all of them because it's in the same area. Right, let's dig this out and prep it for construction. Okay, this one is now prepped. Um, I think I'm just going to get some stone and start building it, actually. Um, now, the portal does have to be a set distance away. Now, luckily, my island actually produces stone. So, I don't need to uh, go get any, and I do have enough. So, I was kind of tempted to make this for looks, but because I'm going to be here so little, I'm just going to not spend that much stone on it um, and make it just functional. Uh, so... I'm going to make a wall still and case it in. I don't want to die or anything like that. Although, I really like the way it looks with the stone floor. Damn, it looks good. Look at that. <laughs> I wonder if that's too shallow for them, actually. Let me test that. Um, I'll copy the name and destroy both of these things. I want to test. There we go. That is pretty much the spawner. Done and dusted. Um, just got to make a portal room. I've got to go and find out how far away it has to be. Um... And then we are good to go with uh, with finishing up the first room here. Really quite easy to make this farm. Probably a little bit too easy, actually. So, in this farm, the portal is quite far away, actually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's on the end of the 10th thing. So, we'll make 11, and that's where the portal's going to be. Wow, that is quite far. Right, so that is the 10th platform that I just placed. Um, let's move the portal and get everything out of the range and let's see if 10 is enough. Because that'll save me a little bit of stone. Oh, well, they just spawned, so <laughs> not going to be able to test it for a little while longer. In fact, just to save me the hassle, I'm going to make it an extra one. Uh, just make it 11. Let's just keep it simple. Oh, definitely working with the portal there. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, cool, so let's build a little border. I'm not going to bother with a roof or anything like that. I'm building so many of these, I just want to sort of get it up and working. Uh, that's what she said. So, let's just do that. It's still cheaper for me to do that, right? I, I can place this big wall here, and it would be cheaper than stacking two of these. <laughs> uh, if I do end up dying to a mob uh, with, this, with this wall not being a roof as well, then I'll change it. But for now, this is good enough, definitely. And let's just stack those like that. And this one's pretty much done here. Look at that. Making this many portals, I'm going to run out of Grey Dwarf Eyes quite quickly here. Something to address in the future, definitely. I already have two cores. How did that happen? Right, there it is. That's the plan. So I come in through this portal, drop right here. There's going to be another portal right here. And we're going to call this uh, the next one along. Um, so this actually would be the one back to the base. Because I'm at number 5 right now. This is number 5. I could call this number 1. It doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, let's do that. This is Sirtling number 1. This is going to lead to Sirtling 2. And we'll let those update and connect. And that should work fine. Does this update? Yes, it does. Right. So, uh, we can head through here now to the next one. Although, I need to go back and get the iron. That's okay, though. I think 5 of these spawners will be enough. I've been thinking about it a little bit. And... It's going to be difficult to move all of the coal back to the base uh, with this chain of portals. So, it's definitely a good idea to um, just to have the right amount, not too many. Otherwise, I'm going to have to be overweight carrying the coal through loads of portals, which isn't ideal. Alright, I want to try something. Everyone's been saying that I can jump to, di like, cancel the power activation. Oh, you can! Whoa! Dude, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for commenting that. Uh, that's, that's insane, um, because, like, it locks all of your movement, 
so naturally you just feel like you can't do anything. Yeah, all you can do is jump. That's so sick. Right, okay, let's start setting up the next one. If I can get that correctly. Yes, nice, let's go. This one might be a little bit weird because the tree's in the way, so... I'm not sure what's gonna happen there. I'm just gonna sort of build around it and expect it to, uh... Expect it to stop spawns, but make sure it... If it does, if it doesn't, sorry, um, it's not a problem. Just like that. I'm gonna build through it, if that makes sense. Right, let's get some more stone. <laughs> there we go. This is the first one that I made, and I've now chained it into the others. So when I enter Sirtling, which is the one that will be connected to the house, um, the next one will be Sirtling 1, Sirtling 2, Sirtling 3, 4, 5, etc, etc. This is going really well. I like this. Right, I just gotta go in here and make sure this is right. So this should be Sirtling 1. There we go. This should be Sirtling 2. So now we're good to go. I have two of the spawners, fully functional, set up, and done. Let's go through to the second one. Hopefully this is the right place. It is indeed the right place. Beautiful. Let's get this one running too. Okay, the path is now in for the second spawner. Let's build up the walls and close it in. Call it a day for this one. I might make these look prettier later down the line, but honestly, I don't think I can picture a world where the devs don't sort of nerf this. Um, there's a lot of balancing to do, obviously, with early access games. You know, you don't expect... Um, less testing and you don't expect things to happen the way they do, blah blah blah. Look at that. I think I need to space them further apart for them to work. There's a little bit of a delay. When you come out of a portal, if you go back into one after, uh, within a short amount of time, you don't teleport. And I think that's just in case you sort of get stuck in like a loop. Um, it's not actually a delay, I think it's like a, you've got to go out of a proximity um, and then it works. Well, that's, that's not a hard fix. That's not a hard fix at all. Either way, this one is now done, so let's connect up Sirtling. Sirtling 3 should connect. There we go. Nice. Just got to find out where that is. I don't know where that is on the map. <laughs> I think it's there behind me. Whoa. Oh, the blood particles in the blood bag. I've only just noticed that. What are we on now? Number 3? I'm losing track. Um, I think this is the third one, yeah. So, in total, I'll have four connected. And I should have six by the time we are done today. I'm just kind of happy I'm actually getting to use this stone. <laughs> like, the islands now are free, so I don't need it for that. I will be using it for bases, though, so I've got to keep that in mind. Oh, my God. I've got a branch in my hallway. Oh, wait, I can chop that down. <gasps> right, there we go. That's another one completes ish Just got to, like, move everything back here, add the portal, and it's good to go. This one's a little bit quirky as well. We've got a root sticking out into the uh, into the chamber. I don't think it will be an issue, um, but it's, it's interesting. <laughs> one might spawn on top of it, actually. I've only just thought of that. So the third one should now be connected. If we go through here, you could almost see the map for a second there. It'll bring us out at the one we just built, hopefully. Hopefully. Please. Yes, nice. Right, let's get some stone, finish this off, and we should be good to go. Yeah, they're really close, and I don't really need extra portals, but hey, I'm building it my way. <laughs> now, one thing to note with this design, um, the queue to auto walk that I mentioned in the beginning simply doesn't work. Um, so when you go through portal, uh, you go through portals, temporarily, or like when you drop, you have like a random direction. I don't know how it works. Um, but basically, the auto walk triggers too quickly uh, for your player to rotate to the face the, w the way you were facing. So you auto walk in a random direction every time. It's okay. Like, you just have to hold W instead. Really not a big issue. Oh, Desquito spawn. Still no locks. I think a few of the wolves will have to die. Don't you dare attack my. That's a problem. Eh, I'll sort it out another time. I don't care right now. God. So, the Desquitos can fly up and attack the Source Wolves. Okay. Okay, sure. I mean, hell. I'm not gonna make the breeders out of stone. <laughs> God. That's the concept. And all you have to do is, when you're ready to collect all of it, go and collect it. <laughs> um, it'll build up on the floor for a good amount of time, and then when there's too much, um... I actually have a question with drops. I'm not sure if things stack. So if you spawn like a thousand, I don't know, stone on the floor, right, uh, with commands, 
it sort of all groups up, and I don't know if that groups up into, um, into stacks of, like, 50, or some of it despawns. There we go. Lovely. I think I'm honestly quite tempted to leave it there. Um, I might just... Oh, God. Fixing all of the things with stone is going to be a pain. Yeah, I'm really tempted to leave that there. That's a really nice, functional, uh, certling coal farm. Uh, well, mainly a coal farm for me. I could pretty it up and make it look good, um, but like I said, I'm just really not going to be here all that often. These walls are just to protect me a little bit. That's it. So just come down here, collect all the coal, and then when you're done, go through the portal to the next chamber. You know what? I'm actually going to go collect a bunch of it now. Might as well. I don't have a good supply right now, so this is pretty good. Yep, you just turn to the right or turn to the left, whichever way you're coming in. Collect it all and go through. I dropped that. Oh my god, I have so much. You see, that's the problem with leaving it too long, is uh, when you have too much stuff, you become encumbered and then you have to carry it through. A little bit annoying, but I guess it is what it is. I guess you could put some chests here as well. That would fix that problem. Then you can just go collect it all from the chests in one go. Yeah, that would work. <laughs> oh, that's so good. There's so much here. That's I think this is like the uh, the first one I built. Oh, actually, I've got loads here as well. Oh, nice. Well, I'm going to bring it all back to the base. Um, where is it? Can I even store all this in my... I can't. There's too... <laughs> I actually have too much coal. <laughs> well, too much coal to, uh, to carry anyway, that is. No inventory space. Wow. There we go. Beautiful. Look at all that coal. For free. And then go through the last portal and we're back in the base. Now, obviously, at the end of the chain, I'm going to have a portal or bring you back here anyway. Um, that means I need two portals. Interesting. Am I going to make it to the coal chest? That is a solid no. A solid no. Right, everyone. Well, that's where I'm going to round up this video. Um, very, very successful farm. Much better than just having a, uh, a dual spawner. Um, so if you're interested in doing this yourself, I would highly suggest it because it is perfect, honestly. Um, there's a few things wrong with my current design that I want to tweak, but it's just a bit tedious for me to do right now. I just can't be bothered. Um, I will get around to that soon. I'll probably just do it off camera, honestly. But there you go. That is the ultimate coal farm. It's just chaining a bunch of them together, and you can just go and build it up by going through all the portals, then when you're ready to collect it, go through collect, go through the next collect, go through the next collect. It's perfect. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. It really does help support the channel. If you've got any feedback on this episode, make sure to let me know in the comments below. If it, even if it's negative, you know, I'm always happy to hear what you guys think on the series. Desquito's still up there going around killing other walls. Do I care about this farm? They destroyed a wall as well. You know, oh, <gasps> what did I just witness? And how is that floating still? Anyway, <laughs> oh god, that did one Desquito, man. There's some serious... Fo Whoa, it's a floating wolf! All right, well, I'm going to go look into fixing this. Um, but as for today's episode, that is done. One of the breeders is completely destroyed now. Anyway, on that note, thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you next time.